Boy Josh or King J coming at you with another commentary today. I believe I'm on the map Stormfront and I'm using the Honey Badger. This is one of my favorite guns right now. I started using Red Dot Side on it though. On this gameplay, I'm playing with another YouTuber, Lady Mark. Uh, she has a channel. She uh, stopped uploading though. She's going to start back uploading soon. So I'll put her link in the description. Y'all can go check out some of her commentaries. She makes really good videos. Now, one thing is guys how do y'all feel about companies lying to you every single year to buy a product or or something that is new that's going to come out now last year we look at the trailers for black ops 2 and they look so good and we so hyped for the game and we thinking that it's going to be so much better than mw3 because some of us thought mw3 was a bad game now looking back on that mw3 was not that bad we had the specialist on there and the specialist on there was actually pretty good when we got our seven points we had all the perks and we could go around running around the map like we was god and we was just killing everybody and most of you that was good y'all probably got moabs but um, I always got bullshitted. I probably would die off one off of one or three off of one. But on this game, Specialist, I was using it. I think that you have to get like an 11 point streak to get Specialist on this game. Another thing is, they said we was having dedicated servers. Now, when I was playing the other day and me and some of my friends like Array actually started going off. I was wondering what was going on. It said lost connection to the host and the game just magically like ended and it brought us to the main menu. So I thought it was dedicated servers. Either somebody dashboarded, yeah, or turned off the Xbox and the game was over. I seen host migration. So did y'all just lie to us just to get us to buy your game? Another thing is, I wanted Call of Duty. I was watching JD from New York and he was actually sugarcoating a whole lot of stuff. And then I was like, this doesn't seem like JD. Then he went and just told the truth and everything how he felt about the game. And he said this is basically Black Ops 2 but from Affinity Ward version and I completely agree with the dude honestly this game is not that good why are y'all giving us maps that are so damn big we didn't want to buy Battlefield we wanted to buy Call of Duty we wanted to buy some small maps that are not that big that we could learn very fast like firing range you know something maybe like nuke town you know not too big maybe something like uh what's the map on black ops 2 we liked man i, I forget names of maps so fast but uh you know just a map that is not too big that we can learn and we can have fun on but they want to give us these big ass maps and then they want to say oh they're 9v9 next gen is going to be so good you know so you're going to make me spend $400 or $500 for a PS4 or the Xbox One just to see if it's good or not you're lucky that I already was paying for my PS4 and there's only 78 more dollars that I have to pay to play the, this game on there but then plus I have to pay another $60 that's why when this game came out and you see me uploading it early, I didn't care. I did not care because I was going to let YouTube do what they wanted to do. I was going to let anybody do whatever they wanted to do because I didn't give a fuck. Honestly, look, this is the game that they gave us and we have to play this shit for a whole nother year. Hopefully it gets better, but another thing I do not like, you know, out of all the other games we had, like Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, 
okay and then what black ops 2 after that um we had the theater mode and that's what i used and relied on to record my games even though sometimes it did not work and my gameplay would be gone i relied on theater mode and it helped me so i didn't have to have a hd pvr plugged into my computer and have to press capture every single game and have to hold a laptop in my hand and yeah that's what i have to do because i don't have my gaming set up right i don't like doing that shit it's uncomfortable for me and it's hard for me to get gameplays playing like that um so hopefully the ps4 has the recording device built inside of it where i could just go back and record the gameplays and stuff but so far on this game i am not enjoying it that much it's not really that good to be honest i i like the fact that the hit detection is good and i like the fact that i'm not getting killed constantly by snipers or shotgunners but sometimes occasionally it will happen but other than that this game is a little bit dull and boring already and i've seen people hacking it already array made a video showing people hacking the leaderboards and shit and another thing you know it said that you had 10 characters for you to basically rank up and stuff and have different kds but one of my friends went to another character trying to see if his kd was going to be any better but his kd was still bad so basically on xbox 360 my kd is some bullshit because i was playing a game early with people that was going very try hard that were mlg players and developers of the game and hackers i guess but this is my opinion on call of duty ghost and plus you know google plus is some bullshit i don't like the fact that i have to use that to reply to comments now everybody this was just a commentary late at night just telling you exactly how i feel i hope you enjoyed it